Hey everybody and welcome back or welcome to my channel Creative at Home. And today we are doing the first ever 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 episode of Baking Made Simple. And it is long overdue. Like I've had this channel for coming up to two months now. And I haven't done a baking episode. I'm sorry. So yeah, today I'm going to be showing you three recipes that you absolutely need to try this summer. And since we're coming up to summer, I thought it'd be fun to do like some baking ideas. And I'm gonna do some like craft ideas, miscellaneous ideas. And I'm finishing up school this week, so I don't have, like, a whole lot of time to edit and film. Like, I'm filming this, like, the day before, because I was super busy this week with school and everything. So, I'm not going to be editing, like, a bunch today. But, I recorded three different recipes. The first recipe I'm showing you is one that I followed a recipe for that I found online. I'll put the recipe link in the description I didn't make it up. Oh my gosh, there's a squirrel in our driveway. Hot. That's really cute. There's a squirrel just going down our driveway. Uh, okay. Um, so, yes. All credit goes to the person who wrote that recipe. Link in description. If you want to make it, go check that recipe out. Um, it's edible sugar cookie dough. And it was delicious. It only took like four ingredients. And it's totally safe to eat. I ate it, basically the whole thing, and I'm fine. I'm not dead yet. Um, and the second recipe is one I've made for like years and years. Um, it's cinnamon cream cheese. It only takes three ingredients, cream cheese, cinnamon, and brown sugar. It's delicious. I definitely recommend making that like on a morning where you don't have a lot of time. You can just make it. And the third recipe is not really a recipe, but it's more of like decorating ideas. I made um, a beach themed pull apart cupcake cake just to get us into the summery vibes. So I'm going to be doing voiceovers for these. Um, so, oh, also before we get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, comment down below, hashtag creative at home fan to get a shout out. Um, and also here are the shout outs. And also I would like to thank Mikey and more because she has been commenting a lot on my videos and she follows a lot of my tutorials and she just says like a lot of nice stuff in the comments. She has an awesome channel. I'll put a card up there. Um, and she does American Ninja Warrior stuff. She does a bunch of cool, fun stuff. So make sure you go subscribe to her because she has an awesome channel. And thank you, Mikey and Moore, for subscribing to my channel and just writing all these nice comments. Thank you. So make sure you subscribe. Go check out Mikey and Moore's channel. Go check out DJW2708's channel. He just hit his goal of 50 subscribers not too recently. And now he wants to get 75 subscribers. So make sure you go and subscribe to those people. And let's get on with these awesome summer recipes. Okay, so we're starting with a parchment lined baking sheet. And we're sprinkling that with a half a cup of flour. So we can toast it in the oven at 350 for 5 minutes to get all the bacteria out. So now we're going to cream our butter and sugar together. And I'm not gonna tell you all the measurements cause I mean, if you wanna make it, you can look at the recipe in the description. Um, so now I'm adding the vanilla in. Um, this kind of gives it a more of like a sugar cookie flavor. Um, so adding that in, creaming that all together. And there goes my sister. So creaming that. Now we're gonna put uh, the flour in the oven for five to six minutes at 350. Uh, just putting that in. Okay, so now that we have our toasted flour, we're just gonna start adding that in. I just used a spoon to add it in, but you can really dump it all in. 
Uh, and I was a little impatient, so I didn't wait for mine to cool. So it melted the dough a little bit. But, I mean, you can wait for it to cool or you can just dump it in immediately. I don't know if it matters or not. You can look and see if the recipe says it. But by now it should be turning into like a cookie dough substance. And it tasted super good. And But to make it even better, we're going to add sprinkles up. Short people problems. Just climbing on the counters to get the sprinkles. And I'm super excited about this. So here it goes. It's raining sprinkles. Uh, well, okay. Apparently I can't open up the sprinkle container. Um, so maybe just play some music to embrace the moment of the sprinkles since I didn't time lapse this. So... All right, so we're adding our sprinkles in and we're just gonna fold those in. Wow, we're aggressively adding those in and speeding it up again. We're just folding those in. And now we are about ready to come to our final product. We're putting it in a little bowl, adding a spoon so we can just eat it all together. So taste testing it. Does it taste good? Oh, does it? Well, well that's how it looks. But, but we, we don't wanna know how it tastes. tastes. That, no, okay, we're dancing, okay, all right, just embracing this moment, we're just going to keep eating it, okay. well, here's how it looked, this is super delicious, and it was super easy to make, um, I definitely rec recommend trying this recipe, uh, if you don't have a lot of ingredients, or you just want to make it, so moving on to the next recipe, Okay, so we're starting with our strawberry cake mix and our vanilla frosting, and we're just going to start by making the cake mix, which I think a lot of people know how to do, and apparently I can't get it open. So I thought this would give me an opportunity to just talk about what we're going to be making. So we're going to be making a strawberry pull-apart cupcake cake, and it's going to be beach-themed. And this really gives you an opportunity to, like, really get creative with all the decorations. Just find random stuff that you have in your kitchen and uh, just use it to decorate your pull apart cupcake cake and mm, tasting it. And I use these super cool uh, rainbow wrappers. So now I'm organizing them all in a rectangle shape and I'm just smushing them all together and I'm mixing together the frosting in the frosting container because I didn't want to get another bowl dirty. Uh, so yeah, I organized the cupcakes in a rectangular shape and I'm smushing them all together to make sure that they're all very close together. And I'm spreading the frosting on, making sure that it's keeping all the cupcakes together, uh, just making sure that none of them are falling apart and just covering the whole thing, making sure there's some frosting in between the layers. Uh, Cause you know, and I kind of didn't mix it all the way so there would be a little bit of white and now that we're done with that, I crushed up some Cheerios because I didn't know we didn't have, we have, I didn't know we had graham crackers. So you can use graham crackers, vanilla wafers, Cheerios, Teddy Grahams, anything that you think crushed up would look like sand. And sprinkling that on, uh, just making sure to cover up all the blue because. Well, I guess it'd be like an island, sand in the middle of the water. I don't know, you could do that or just do this so now I'm making some little umbrellas using a cupcake liner I use some mini cupcake liners instead of the big ones because they work better but you can use uh, just regular cupcake liners. so now we're starting to decorate and I separated some blue cotton candy from our bag of fluffy stuff uh, just to use as like some waves just to kind of make it look a little more 3d and kind of cute and I used some Haribo Teddy, no, not Teddy Grahams, uh, gummy bears to make it look like little people, just kind of putting them in the water. And the water, as I put them further out, I stuck them further down to make it look like they were swimming. Uh, just kind of doing fun stuff like that. Um, and I used some sweet tart ropes to do like little noodles. I was just using random candy from around our house. Like I used this gum for towels. You could use Laffy Taffy. You could use Teddy Grimms for the people. Just find random stuff from around your house because this is really where you can get creative uh, with the decorations. Just finding whatever candy or snacks you find around your house and just uh, using them. And I 
attempted to use a Lucky Charms bar, but that failed. So this is how it looked. I really liked how this one turned out. It looked super fun and 3D. And I loved the cotton candy waves. Um, just a really nice touch. And I love how all the little bears have their umbrellas. And again, if you don't have many cupcake liners, just use regular ones. And you could use a skewer uh, instead of a toothpick to set them up. Because I didn't say put a toothpick in. Yeah. Um, so I really enjoyed making this. I love decorating fun stuff like this. You could put, I forgot to put goldfish in the water. That would have been kind of cool. But um, moving on to our last recipe, which is cream cheese, uh, cinnamon cream cheese. Okay, so we're starting by putting about a quarter of a thing of cream cheese into our bowl. And I just used the bowl that I already had mixed this up in since I was running low. And putting about a teaspoon or so of cinnamon in and two tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm mixing that together with a spoon and I eventually switch to um, an electric mixer just so I can get it all mixed together easier. Uh, and also if you want you can really really mix it so there's no like little brown sugar pieces because sometimes little brown sugar pieces get in and I kind of like it because it's a little crunch because they get all like munched together and oh, there I am with the whisks uh, and just spreading this on a bagel because uh, I love it that way and this is a super easy recipe just to do and taking the first bite of it uh, so apparently it's pretty good so this is how our uh, cinnamon cream cheese looked it's super delicious just an easy thing to make in the morning uh, when you don't have a lot of time just whip it together and you can always mix it in the same bowl that you had already mixed it in uh, it's totally fine to do that um, and it's super tasty don't have to buy it from the store regular cream cheese cinnamon and brown sugar so I love this recipe so much alright so those are the three recipes I showed you today I had so much fun making them they were all super delicious definitely recommend trying these this summer if you're bored or you just want to bake something Definitely recommend the cream cheese frosting for in the morning. I recommend the uh, beach pull apart cupcake cake for any like summer themed party. And the cookie dough is just a snack that you can pull out of the fridge anytime you want. Uh, and link to the cookie dough recipe in the description. All credit goes to them. Um, but I kind of just made up the beach pull apart cupcake cake and the cream cheese frosting. I looked at a recipe, but I've just improved it throughout the years. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, make sure to comment hashtag creative at home fan to get a shout out. And I will see you in my next short.